We're often asked at shows and through email how we keep our Frisians looking so great and how we prepare them for the show ring. The care and grooming of a Frisian is the same as for other breeds, but it does take a little extra time and perhaps technique to deal with their signature volume of hair. We thought show and tell would be a good way to pass along the knowledge. Bathing a Frisian is basically the same as any other breed, except for all that hair. At Iron Spring Farm, our Frisian stallions are bathed once a month or before a show. They are hosed down after training when they are sweaty and towel dried, but the full beauty treatment is not given as often. You'll want to use a low sudsing shampoo to make rinsing easier. And you may need to scrub a little deeper and longer to get down to the skin for a thorough cleaning. Here, one of Iron Spring Farm's stallion grooms gives Teta a bath, a ritual they've been through many times. Once you get used to it, it goes quickly and you'll have show ring ready results. We timed each area to see how long it takes to do a good job on a horse with abundant hair. The feathers take between five and 10 minutes to wash and rinse all four legs two times. Tata's tail is thick and luxurious and a bit more to handle than on many horses. Start at the top and deep clean the base of the tail. See the technique of adding shampoo, scrubbing back and forth, moving the suds down the tail? The key is to do this without tangling or breaking hairs. Rinse well and add your favorite conditioner. Use the same technique you used with the shampoo to spread the conditioner through the tail. Then rinse a final time. The tail takes about 10 minutes. The mane is the same except we get to add a new technique. Start at the pole and give a deep scrub. You can see that Tata is happy to stand still for the treatment. Scrub above and below the hairline. And then start working down the mane with shampoo, scrubbing and scrunching the hair to clean and spread the shampoo. For the extra long hair, you can roll it up to distribute the shampoo and finish the cleaning. Again, be very gentle to prevent breakage and tangling. Rinse the pole area thoroughly, then move down the mane. Add conditioner and rinse. Use the same method to wash and condition the forelock. Rinsing is especially important on a black horse. You don't want to see dandruff flakes standing out on that gorgeous coat. Tie the hair in loose knots, getting ready for the next step, the blow dry. The mane takes a little more than 10 minutes. Again, it's not complicated, but drying a Frisian may be a bit more important than for other breeds, especially on the feathers. While the extra thick coat is meant to keep moisture out, it also keeps moisture in and can do damage to the hoof and be a breeding ground for fungus, bacteria, or skin infections, such as scratches. We'll show you how to treat scratches in another segment of our Frisian Grooming Tips series. Use a high-powered dryer and use the cool air setting. It may take a little time for your horse to get used to the sound of the dryer, but typically your horse will be standing still, no worries, after a few sessions. When drying the mane, be sure to give the pole area special attention and put the nozzle above and below the hair to be sure the skin is dry.
Use the same techniques for the tail, giving special attention to the base of the tail, where the hair is thickest, and trapped moisture can cause problems. Add detangler before the final grooming. After drying, you may choose to braid the mane to prevent the horse from standing on it and to keep it clean. We'll show our method of braiding in another segment.